Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Rabenschild and the Reavers get more and more dangerous. It is not fun. You can see these encounters there. Dangerous Reaver encounter. And because I thought, what, what can happen? I attacked one of these and let's say that way, that was not fun. Uh, the Reavers get technology updates. I don't know where from, but they basically attacked me with my own weapons. Suddenly I got hit with laser and phaser fire and had uh, all the craziest machine guns fire at me that I usually use. Uh, not too happy about this. I'm... Ugh, I'm kind of happy that I don't have all the crazy weapons in the world but the reavers definitely had rail guns i took a look at the wreck afterwards the ship came after me turned off jump drives and it came after me it was a massive ship and it had all the weapons all the weapons took a while to take it down the shields of this ship took a while to recover deal with it and even this ship took a bit of a beating. Um, everything's fine and nothing got broken, but it wasn't fun. The, the amount of weapons I have on here is definitely not high enough. So, let us go over the ship. Uh, I finished or nearly finished the outside, so the the main outside layer is done and is being welded up. I'm closing off uh, all the compartments. Parts of the ship are already uh, airtight. And then I can work on more of the details. I might want to do that somewhere in free space so that I yeah, can have yeah, maybe more weapons and then be a bit more protected and i will have to bring up the ranges of my weapons again the the <laughs> the reverse let us say it that way didn't hold back with their ranged fire i shouldn't do that anymore too still losing blocks once in a while i'm that's a bit it's a bit harsh because now with having atmosphere in the ship, that might cost me a lot of ice to replenish. I have made a bit of a cut into the ship and set up some windows so that we have uh, a bit of an outside view at, at some, some part in the ship. The the, the only problem that I have is now that it is not very convenient to get into the ship anymore. I'm using the trick with the fields more and more because this makes having air-filled compartments easier. You don't want to have... So if I would close off the ship and then fill that with air, I'm pretty sure the, the air vents wouldn't register that. And so I'm, I'm basically parting off parts of the ship. <laughs> that sounds weird. But this, this main part here will be made much clo- yeah, no, not much closer, much smaller. Over time, I want to kind of be able to have stairwells, for example, in here that I definitely want to be their own compartments. Maybe with airlocks, I'm not sure. Maybe I will use the, the fields there too, just so that I don't lose the air everywhere if something gets poked. And it hopefully makes my system a bit more pleased with the whole situation because it i'm pretty sure 
going and calculating where air can be it's not fun for the game so this will be the a recreational area and it's far too big but that is kind of that is kind of the theme with this with this ship and again i want to keep the 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 area where I will be relatively small and this will be definitely I'm pretty sure the biggest the biggest room in the end um, I have the ability to put down some air vents uh, in in an area up there that's the thing outside is kind of done now inside starts and one of the major things I need to do is light up the whole thing. Uh, we saw that here that everything is dark except for the few light spots that I have. And I need more. I had the idea to be able to look into the rooms or something like that. No, I will not do that. We will close this all off make this again into smaller compartments the bridge will be somewhere here and so that you can go from the bridge into this room and then have a way down there into other parts of the the ship this will house hyperdrives as it is doing right now so we can go there check them and then down here we might have don't know some rooms and medical bay maybe or something like this and there will be stairwells up there up there somewhere and down here is also the area where the docks will be so these airlocks lead to the outside docks that i have not finished yet but the they're structurally finished but i have to have an example of a ship to to kind of gauge where the connectors and all that stuff need to be. And I also need to put in connectors. So I have to connect that up from the inside. Rooms are pretty high. Um, that has to do with the gates. I want to have a bit of space above the gate. And yeah, I did that here too. This all leads into the back area where the tanks are, where the air or the oxygen and hydrogen uh, production is and where then behind this wall basically will be the thrusters i have dotted around some ugh, i'm sorry for the darkness i'm can't really do anything about this i have dotted around some graph drives i will have to make the components for this still because this ship wouldn't be maneuverable with with just the normal thrusters, at least when it comes to stopping and accelerating. It is it is too crazy. So in the front, the, the hangar is closed off too. Not airtight yet, but uh, it it is closed off too, except here in the front. Um, I want to put in a wall and then I'm thinking about I'm not sure what I can do into put into this room if I put more storage in or whatsoever I'm putting down some thrusters in here too so they will not poke through the surface and I have to put down some maneuvering thrusters too they will all point towards the wall, but hopefully with enough space in between them so that they don't cook off the wall. <laughs> I, I had no time to bring in materials or do anything more. And that now kind of leads to me running low on uranium. I'm... I'm slowly, hopefully getting slowly 
more uranium back in. The uranium refinery is hard at work, but uh, because of the yield modules, it is relatively slow. I'm getting more, but it is just not speedy. It is not speeding through the uranium like it like it could. I need a way to produce power without overusing the reactors that I have and I need to put in more reactors. So I will put down some more solar panels and I also for kind of spikes I have started to put in more batteries. I'm not sure what all these batteries do to my to the game running but these are all batteries and I will fill this up too and maybe make one more layer on each side and then close off this in the end the yeah the radia radiator to <laughs> to get rid of heat uh, it is it is straining my system this ship is straining my system. Let me try to get a bit of a shot. So basically the 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 structure you could see, but now it being closed gives it a bit more a bit more of I don't know. You, you can see it a lot better. It is still very flat. That needs to change over time <laughs> this is just this is crazy this is just crazy i hope that in the end it will still fly i need to put in more uh, gyrus and all that stuff that that also needs to be put down the the whole thing right now is just barely flying B barely flying but again it it never will be a fighter craft or anything like that this thing is again just there to jump to certain points and then maybe ships can smaller ships can do all the rest I also don't have a lot of built and repair systems in here to keep the the CPU low down, but it they are doing a marvelous job. Okay. Good. The the main things to do now is part of these rooms and I don't know. It is just, I just keep working. I think I will concentrate now for the next few hours of playtime. I will concentrate on bringing in materials, bringing in all that stuff. And then we find a better place to stay. Uh, maybe, I'm not sure, maybe I move somewhere else. And I, I have to bring in one of the other big ships to finish the finish the docking tubes. I kind of I had prototypes built that I used to build the the first iteration of this. And then I just scrapped them. And maybe I, sh I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have kept them because that would come in handy now. I could just bring the smaller ship in, test out if that works. And then uh, I wouldn't have to bring in the, the, Emp the Empress now, for example, to see if... I don't know if this works and how how docking works for these, but that's what I will have to do. Parking the Empress next to this monster and ah, uh, see, that's what I mean. I I have missing missing blocks all around. 
again the, the first thing when when I'm getting closer to be done the first thing I need to do is turn off the build and repair system so because I'm pretty sure that's a that's a mistake of the build and repair system where it kind of turns on removes a block and then I don't know gets back to gets back to its job it's just this whole thing is just too big <sighs> but I, I like it it's just I like the form I like the form it's not as sleek and as I would like it but I have a lot of space for smaller ships in there and now I can lay out stuff like I kind of have the idea to maybe put in some let us let us test it uh, put in some some ports some uh, things where maybe we can hide rocket launchers behind I had that with the other ship where I basically had broadside weapons and I kind of have the idea that we should have stuff like this on here too. There's still the idea to at least try at one point try the making uh, individual rockets, how to say, uh, build basically rockets that that go for targets maybe maybe finally at one point i could go for stuff like this i'm again i'm i'm not too fond of these usually because i don't know i'm i know that they are amazing for pvp because uh don't know you can you can use really hard hitting uh projectiles but the big problem here is this is not pvp this is just my single player world with just a few enemies although now that the enemies get get more and more dangerous I'm <clears throat> maybe that brings me to reconsider it's Ugh. okay what do I need I need five I need one normal block then uh, open this up can I large steel tube I did this a lot and tested tested stuff like this a lot but every time I come around one of these medical stations I'm just pressing the button to get some refills okay so one of the updates and I a lot of you know that but one of the updates brought in the possibility to uh, basically uh, come on give me the velocity why is it not connected One of the updates brought in the possibility uh, because of an update to the way how the the block collision is is done so that we can have flush um, that we can have flush armor blocks basically and. I like that concept. I used that concept in in Starmate. That was the the first game of these block 
based games that kind of had that where you could have just flush filled in blocks that kind of merge into other blocks and where the the hitboxes of the blocks were were done in a way where you yeah could just press them against each other and the space engineers has that now too this makes makes the ability to hide weapons behind these types of yeah ports basically uh, a cool thing and a neat thing that we could use and don't know again if if somebody there i need somebody and that can explain to me how these these weapons that you basically uh that you that get built in a launch tube and then you fire them how they work how can you have these things then fire at another ship and is is there stuff that is needed for this don't know maybe it needs to be a pvp situation because otherwise it won't work again i still i still love having this option can still see it i'm i'm completely okay with that but i'm i i have i love absolutely love having this this option i would have to see how bad it clangs it will not be airtight or anything like that but um up here is a compartment where it would work i could have it on the top the other ship that i had had basically stuff like that on the top where i could open these hatches and then shoot rockets out of it but the the thing with starmate is that the weapon system there um it was different you you basically built your weapons you could go and say uh, I, I will have rockets and then with uh, the addition of another block then suddenly you had uh, smart rockets that fired at at all uh, enemies around you and we could have stuff like this in the front here too have torpedo tubes basically and maybe that's an option we should consider but again I need I need to find a way to to kind of see how these work in the end i'm inch why is it gone now <laughs> inch is is it broken already can we can we itch there it is i i must have written something then have ports like these open and don't know even if we just put normal rocket launchers behind them i oh we have weapon core weapon core has smart missiles or or seeker missiles i'm i could i could use these two i'm not sure maybe that's a good idea could could set it up in a way where basically the timers change reverse the hinge and also turn on and off the weapons that way we could prevent them from firing while while the hinges are closed or something like that that's that's maybe an idea but the problem with that is now that the reavers just copy my weapons um they would get these two then that's not fun having to fight reavers that then shoot i'm not sure maybe i can keep them a secret um i have to see how that 
how that would work out. And again, I'm 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 terrified of all the Reavers having these weapons now. The Reavers we encountered before never had uh, all my weapons. They just had the vanilla weapons. And I'm absolutely terrified now that the other Reavers that just run around here and m most of the time miss me have them too. It, uh, this is, I don't know why they suddenly get so dangerous, why the Reavers, how the Reavers got my, my weapons. I'm, I don't know, I need to figure this out. So, I will cut some more holes, just because... I want to measure this out. There's one of the lasers down there. If we have three launch tubes on every side. For one, it makes for an, an interesting look, kind of. I will... Um, I will measure over there, so middle, and then just put some blocks over there. There's also, <laughs> it's, we, we, I'm, <laughs> there is, we have the phasers, there is Star Trek torpedoes too. These could work in there too, so I'm, I'm not sure. We we could risk it, but I would be terrified if, if just the encounters have that. I don't need to fly there. It's really not necessary to, to provoke them and go over there and just. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what I thought. It said dangerous river encounter. Why go there? And I flew there with my small green ship. I nearly lost that ship because the river suddenly just fired phasers at me from from high ranges. And I was just, what? What's happening? And I had to... The, the small ship has one problem, and the phasers have one problem. They draw energy like crazy. They fire for a few moments, but then they need to reload, and then they draw energy. And the, the three, three azimuth reactors that I have on the small green ship, on, on that shuttle, they can't keep up with my two phasers that I have in the front. I just have these two phasers and they can't keep up. These two overload the whole system. That's also the, also, the, also the problem that I will have with the big ship. With the big ship even more. I can't put phasers everywhere. I need to be conservative with the phasers and then think about other weapons. The lasers, the uh, Gladius lasers I have here, they all need, I think, 240 megawatts to function. So we will have to use them as super weapons or something like that. But we have to have other weapons too that don't rely on energy. We can't use railguns. Railguns uh, also draw a lot of power there is other weapons core packs out there and i saw a new one uh links weapons um that rely on ammo and now with the the modded ammo being separated from from all the normal ammo i might be able to deal with this if there's crazy big guns in there 
I might want to try them. I might want to try them to rely again a bit more on on projectile based weapons and just have the phasers and the gladius lasers as yeah kind of heavy hitting heavy hitting for something with oomph that I can easily power that doesn't overwhelm my power systems and have other weapons around the ship the the i will use for example raven bolt and uh, maybe some of the vanilla turrets and stuff that i have as uh, missile defense the the reaver came in with a lot of missiles and getting getting a good missile defense going would be cool I have the the MCRN PDCs. I think they having them as missile defense would be neat. And I need to clear out this area. I have too many red signals around me. <laughs> I hope that the normal that the normal encounters didn't get all the weapons too. That would be dangerous then. Cut the things in there the slits for the hinges does that work out yes but again that that is i would like to hear your opinion on that maybe we should consider having something in the front torpedo launchers in the front that can fire built torpedoes I would like to try that at one point and don't know coming close to episode 1000 maybe I should finally try that having them there would be nice but this ship is so big it relies on weapons that I don't have to point at so th th that's the thing this ship is just too too big to to point at at the enemy i need weapons that i can shoot in any direction and it will f they will find their way basically that's that's the main thing that that's why if i put torpedoes out i need torpedoes that find their enemy on their own basically that i can just throw out of the front and then they will turn and go for go for the enemy and having stuff like that on the sides would be nice too because then I have something that I can just drop out of the side and then then it goes for the enemy that that would be great I'm running out of energy like crazy <sighs> yeah again I will put in some more hours by the way this that's why I had no video on Monday. This took hours to finish. Hours. And I'm I'm getting distracted by two other games that I'm playing right now. And uh, I've put more hours into Dyson Sphere program than I really should. <laughs> and on the other hand, I'm I don't know why I'm playing around with mods in in Final Simulator. <laughs> playing it on on Thursday. Um, I, I told you that I use that kind of to, to de-stress. Uh, good. But that, by the way, was <laughs> my stream with the most dislikes. And I'm pretty sure it has to do with the fact that it kind of was wrongly labeled. <laughs> I thought I had put in Farming Simulator. And that YouTube would just recognize that YouTube didn't and posted it on the Space Engineers. Yeah, I'm sorry for that, but that had a lot of dislikes <laughs> compared to compared to other streams. Good. But everything is fine. I think I'm overdoing it again time-wise. People, you see 
this, yeah, this really takes shape now. And I'm, I hope you like the form. I'm repairing this area now for the umftiest time. There must be something special about this. <clears throat> Good. But people. Hope you like the form of this ship. Um, if you have more suggestions or anything, let me know. If you have some suggestions regarding homing weapons, that that would be really appreciated. And uh, otherwise, hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave a like on it. Leave a comment that is always appreciated, helps the algorithm. And I hope to see you in the next video. See ya, guys.